everybody and welcome to Fitness Friday. It is week three, day 17 actually, okay? I thought it was 16. We've actually had 17 days of camp. Thank you for coming. We have some people in our Zoom chat right now and we are also live. So I am going to go ahead and explain the warm-up, the game, and then also the workout we're going to perform for the day. All right, we are going to go through our human cars, our controlled articular rotations, taking each major joint through its full range of motion first, and then we're going to play a game called Pirate Ship, which is a cool game. Uh, we're going to move our whole body in a lot of dynamic ways, and we are going to perform some isometric contractions and some eccentric contractions. So whether you're seated or standing, you'll be able to participate in all of these exercises and the cool down, of course. But first, we're going to go ahead and get started with our warm-up, okay? <clears throat> so I'm going to give you different options and you can use each of these options. Uh, I'll start with a seated option and then I'll move to a um, ground option. Okay, so you have different options as well. Okay, all right, so the first thing we're going to do is sit up either in a chair or in a kneeling position, squeeze the fist. Whether we're seated or standing, you can stand, sit, or kneel. And what we're going to do is bring the head down, rotate, bend the head to the side, extend the head back, rotate the neck to the other side, and flex down. If you feel any pain or discomfort, you don't have to go through these motions, or just go ahead and make a smaller circle. Go ahead and rotate one more time all the way around. And then let's go ahead and rotate the neck all the way, all the way around two times the other way. Try to draw a circle with the chin. Squeeze your fist. Just drawing a circle with your chin. And complete two circles. From here, go ahead and give yourself a hug. Whether you're seated or standing, you're going to just flex the upper back down and then we're going to rotate and then we're going to bend the shoulder to the side and then we're going to extend the back rotate toward the other side flex into that side and flex forward one more rotation bend extend rotate bend and flex forward. Go ahead and rotate two times the other way, all the way around just the upper back. Rotate toward the other way, flex into the side, all the way around forward. Keep rotating, extend, rotate the other way, bend into that side, and flex down. From here, whether you're seated or standing or kneeling, we're going to go ahead and flex the shoulder all the way up. The opposite arm can be squeezing the fist, and then we're going to reach back, turn the arm to the back of the fist is next to the body. From here, we're going to extend, unravel, reach back, all the way up, forward, and down. One more, all the way up. Reach back as you rotate the arm. And then reach back, unravel, all the way back, forward, and down. Let's go ahead and switch shoulders, switch side. Okay, reach all the way up. Rotate the shoulder as you reach back. Back of the hand next to the side. And then reach back, unwind, all the way up, forward, across the body, and down. One more, all the way up, reach all the way back and around, create a big circle with the shoulder, reach back, unwind, reach all the way up, across the body, and down. All right, let me see if I can fix this camera here. I think it's, uh, there we go. All right, now we're going to get the scapula, so whether you're seated or whether you are kneeling, we're going to bring those hands out in front of the shoulders, just like this. 
And then we're going to squeeze the fists. And then we're going to draw those scapula backward toward the back wall. And then forward. And then up, back, down, forward, up, back, down, forward, up, back, down. Now we're going to reverse it. Back and up, forward and down. Back, up, forward, and down. From here, elbows. Elbows at a 90 degree angle. You can sit on a chair or in the kneeling position, or you can even stand for this one. Okay, either or. Whatever works best for you. Elbows at a 90 degree angle. From here, extend the wrist down. We're going to go ahead and rotate those fingertips in and all the way up. All the way out. All the way down, all the way in, all the way up, all the way out, all the way down. Let's go the other way. Out, up, in, and down. Out, up, in, and down. Good. All right. So if we're seated, what we can do is perform some axial rotations here, just like this. Or you can also perform some knee cars while we're getting the hips. Okay, so we're going to sit and kind of rotate the hips in and out. Or if you're able to go like this with your legs, just going to go in and out. Or if you're able to sit on the ground, we're just going to sit with the hands out front. We're going to turn those feet in and then turn those feet out. Try to move our legs as a unit. Okay, just getting warmed up here. And then from here, whether you're seated or on the ground, go ahead and hold onto the underbelly of the hamstring, bend the knee, and then draw that knee toward the chest, extend the knee, rotate foot in and bend. Out, up, in and down, and in and up, out and down. In, up, out and down. Go ahead and take that same ankle and just see if we can draw a big circle with that ankle or if somebody can help you draw a big circle with that ankle or you can move the whole ankle yourself if it's not moving. Go ahead and rotate the other way. Big circle with the toes. Pretend there's paint on the tips of those toes. You're drawing a circle. Go ahead and switch Knees, hold the hamstring, flex the knee, extend, turn, and bend. Out, up, in, and down. Out, up, in, and down. We're going to go in and up, out, and down. In, up, out, and down. In, and up. Out and down, same ankle, point the toe down, full circle, big circle, all the way around, and we're going to rotate the other way, all the way around, big circle with the ankle, as big as possible, and relax. All right, so whether you're seated or standing, what we're going to do next is play a game called Pirate Ship. All right, so I'm going to give you some tasks. You're going to be on the Pirate Ship with me. This is a game that you can play at camps. This is a game that you can play uh, in any type of physical activity setting. All you need is a little bit of space. Or if you have a gymnasium, this will also work. So it will be perfect if you have a gymnasium as well. So when I say... The captain is coming, whether you're seated or standing, you're going to say, aye, aye, captain. Okay, so the captain's coming. You say, aye, aye, captain. Okay. When I say sail to the north or sail to the south or sail to the west or sail to the east, or we might just sail in a certain direction, whether it's going to the right or going to the left, 
we're going to sail during our pirate ship adventure. Then we're going to pull some rope. So we're going to get in some positions and pull some rope. We're going to climb some ladders while we're on the pirate ship. We're going to do a cannonball where we're going to turn into a cannonball while we're on the ship. Then we have a cool um, walk the plank activity where you're going to jump into the water. Then we're going to swim to shore and then we're going to dig for treasure. And then we're going to swim back to the boat and figure out what our orders are from there. All right, so let's go ahead and get some water and we'll get started. All right. All right, so whether you're seated or standing, when I say the captain's coming, you say, aye, aye, captain. All right, and we'll have other calls and responsibilities you'll have to do while you're on the pirate ship. So the first call and responsibility is to sail. So we're going to go ahead and sail, but we're going to go ahead and sail to either the left or the right. So we're going to sail side to side. Okay, to the west and to the east. Okay, and then we're going to go forward and back to the north and to the south. Now, if you have a big gymnasium or a big space, you can go all the way forward, all the way back. You can also go east and west, side to side, using the full distance of your gym, side to side. Okay, go ahead and the captain's coming. Aye, aye, captain. Next duty, let's go ahead and pull the rope. So we're going to get in a split stance position if you're able to stand. If you're seated, you're just going to pretend that you're in a split stance position here or just hold and we're going to pull just like this if we're seated. If you're able to stand, it's going to look just like this or you can bring that leg off the ground and we're going to pull the rope. So go ahead and pull the rope, pull the rope. Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. We're going to lean forward and pull. And then we're going to turn and we're going to pull the rope from the other direction. Pull the rope. So if you're seated or standing, pull the rope. Keep pulling, keep pulling. All right. Now we're going to climb the ladder. So go ahead and climb the ladder. It's going to reach all the way up if you're seated. It's going to reach up just like this if you're standing all the way up trying to climb the ladder reaching all the way up toward the sky reach 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 then if you want to add in your legs go all the way up the ladder okay now let's go ahead and climb down the ladder climb down the ladder climb down the ladder climb down the ladder all right we're on the ground all right now we're going to get into the cannonball okay so we have to create a cannonball with the body just like this and then we're going to go all the way up and jump up toward the sky. Okay, so we're going to do what a cannonball would do, go all the way out toward the sea and so we're going to explode. We're going to start as a cannonball and then we're going to jump up and bring our arms out like a way, up like a Y. Ready? All the way down and if you're seated, you're just going to raise your arms out just like that. All right. Or reach forward and then all the way up. One more cannonball. All the way up. And the next duty we have to perform is we have to scrub the deck. Okay. So if you're seated, I want you to scrub the deck with your hands just like this. If you're able to get to the hands and the knees, we're going to pretend that you're scrubbing the deck. You go on one hand. And then you'll pretend that you're scrubbing the deck just like this. So go ahead and scrub the deck. Scrub the deck. Okay. Or if you're at your house, go ahead and clean the house now. Pick up some trash. Okay. Scrub the deck. If you're seated, just like this. Big circles. Okay. Next order, we have to walk the plank. So now, now we're going to go ahead and bring our hands behind. We're going to walk the plank. And then we're going to jump into the water with our hands out front, okay? 
So if we're seated, what we're going to do is we're going to reach all the way up and we're going to reach all the way toward the ground. If you're standing, we're going to take three steps, one, two, tiny three steps, tiny three steps. We're going to jump forward and bring our hands down in front of us. All right. So let's go ahead and try that one more time. Three steps or hands up and jump into the water. All right. So we didn't really want to get into the water, but now we're in the water. We're going to swim. We're going to swim. So go ahead and swim all around. Swim all around. Try to swim, swim, swim. Keep swimming all around. Swim, swim, swim. Swim, swim, swim. Now move those arms. Move those arms. Move those arms. All right. We finally found the shore. Now we're going to dig for treasure. Go ahead and dig for treasure. Dig for treasure. Dig for treasure. All right, more treasure. There's treasure over here. Go ahead and switch side. Dig and dig, dig, dig. If you're seated, same thing with the arms. Pretend you're digging for treasure. If you're able to stand, get in a half lunge position here. And the captain's coming. Aye, aye, captain. All right, now if I say the hook is coming, you're going to go ahead and bring your finger out like a hook and go R. All right, so if I say Hook is coming, you're going to say R. If I say the captain's coming, you're going to go, aye, aye, captain, right? All right, so go ahead. Let's go ahead and keep digging for treasure. Dig for treasure. Dig for treasure. All right, pick up all your treasure. Pick up your treasure. Let's go ahead and put it in the lifeboat. Put it in the lifeboat. Let's go ahead and get into the boat, whether we're seated or standing. We're going to go ahead and row, pretend that we're in a kayak, okay, and we're rowing all the way, all the way to shore, or you can be in a rowboat, okay, you can be in a rowboat or a kayak, so whatever you prefer, or you can be in a canoe, okay, so pick one, okay, or you could be in one of those bicycle boats like that if you want. Whatever boat you want to try, or you could be in the, the isometric boat. Okay, with your arms all the way out front and your legs straight. And then wherever you are, go ahead and the captain's coming. Aye, aye, captain. Okay, hook is coming. R. Okay, go ahead and scrub the deck or scrub the windows. So scrub the deck or scrub the windows. So pretending that you're scrubbing the deck. And if you want to challenge yourself by leaving uh, the knees off the ground, you can also try that and make it a little bit harder. And then switching side. The captain's coming. Aye, aye, captain. All right, let's go ahead and sail. Sail around, sail around. You can bring your arms out if you're seated for the sail part. And we can just go like that while you're seated. If you're able to stand, you can go ahead and walk around. If you want to do some knee pulls while we're sailing, do some knee pulls while we're sailing. Maybe go ahead and sail back to the boat. Uh oh, the captain's coming. Aye, aye, Captain. All right. Let's go ahead and get into the cannonball. Or go ahead and reach for your feet if you're seated. And, or just try to crouch forward. And then we're going to go ahead and jump all the way up. And then we're going to come back to that cannonball. And if you're seated, we're just going to reach overhead and reach all the way up. And let's go ahead and walk the plank. So now we're going to take three steps and jump forward into the water or if we're seated we're just going to reach overhead and then reach forward like we're plunging into the water all right so we're going to take three small steps and then we're going to jump into the water let's do it one more time three small steps and we're going to jump into the water all right, now we're going to swim. Now you can swim while you're seated, 
or this time we're going to advance it by swimming on our stomach. Okay, so we can swim as we're kneeling, or we can swim and run around the gym, or we can swim all around as we sit. Now, if you want to challenge yourself, go ahead and try to swim with everything off the ground. Try to flutter those feet. Try to keep those knees straight. And relax. Wherever you are, go ahead and relax. Breathe. Go ahead and rotate the neck. Wherever you are, rotate the neck or just hold your position. Go to the hands and knees position. Or if you're seated, crouch forward and round the back if you're like this and hold on to the knees if you're seated. Or go into that cat position and hold. Breathe. And then try to segment the back one vertebrae at a time, whether you're seated or on your hands and knees. Look all the way up. And then unravel the other way. Small or low spine all the way to high spine. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and get some water. And now we'll get into our workout. All right. How's everyone doing in the Zoom? Good. Give me a thumbs up. Good job. What's up, Daquan? All right. Workout isometrics. So we're going to perform some movements that actually aren't movements. We're going to be performing some isometric contractions. So isometric contractions means that you are still the whole time. For example, when you push, the eccentric contraction would be on the way back. Concentric contraction would be pushing forward. So whether you're seated or standing, you can practice that push-up with your elbows at a 90-degree angle all the way back. And then test yourself. Do you have the wrist mobility here? Can you get your hands flat? If your hands look like this, or if you can't get those hands up without pain, then it might be asking too much to perform a push-up. And you might actually have to work on those wrists before putting all that load on the wrists. So that's important finding is understanding your own wrist strength. From here, when we push, we typically go down, we go up. But you can actually generate a lot of force and strength just by holding the position. So if you're seated and you have any sort of weight like a medicine ball or a backpack and you don't need those pieces of equipment but if you have those and you want to hold them in front of you just like this, that is one option. Another option is to sit in front of the wall, okay, this would be an example of a wall, and just push into that barrier as hard as you can, okay, if you are seated. If you are standing, an option would be to push the hands into the wall and hold. That would be a very modified uh, position, okay, so you can choose those two positions before trying this next position. This next position will be the hands and knees position. Okay? And we want to know the hands and knees position because um, we want to make sure that our hands are underneath our shoulders, our knees are underneath our hips, our feet are in line with our knees, and our knees are behind our hands. We want to make sure that we're almost creating a square, but the top portion of the square is a little bit wider than the bottom portion. From here, what we're going to do is hold. So right now we're performing an isometric contraction. We are holding an isometric 
push-up position. If you are seated, all I want you to do is press into the wall or press into someone's hands and hold this position. And then from here, I want you to push into the ground and attempt to bring one knee off the ground. And if you feel comfortable, we're going to see if we can bring both legs off the ground for 30 seconds. So we're going to see if we can hold a push-up position for 30 seconds. Okay. So when the clock strikes 15, so in 20 seconds, we're going to begin. If you're seated, just push into a wall for 30 seconds or someone's hands as hard as you can. If you're seated around the hands and knees, option one, hold the hands and knees. Option two, we're going to bring the knees off the ground and we're going to hold for 30 seconds. In three, two, one, and hold. Try to keep your body steady. Now, if you start to shake or if there's any pain and you need to bring one knee down, that's totally fine. Or if there's any wrist pain, make sure that you lighten the load or bring one knee down. Holding it, we have about 10 more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and slowly bring it down. Good job. Now, if that hurts your wrist and you just perform that and you don't want to do that again, I totally understand. Or just lighten the load or bring your knees to the ground or push into the wall a little bit less. All right. The next exercise is going to be a lunge hold. Okay. If you are, um, yes, if you are seated, what I'd like you to do is Reach one arm up and one arm back and hold this position. And you're just going to breathe into this position for 15 seconds. And then you're going to switch for 15 seconds the other way. Okay. Now I want you to focus on your 360 degree breathing during this lunge hold. All right. Now if you are able to lunge, you're going to do the same thing. Okay. So opposite arm forward. We're going to hold this for 15 seconds and then we're going to hold it for 15 seconds using the opposite legs, leg forward. All right. So go ahead and hold here. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two and then switch the arms if you're seated or standing and hold for 15 seconds breathe three two one and relax good job so that was an isometric hold they're actually really tough now we're going to hold a crab position if we're seated we're going to do is we're going to push into the chair that we're in or the seats. We're going to push down into this, uh, the chair or the box that we're using. We're just going to push down as hard as we can, isometrically ramping it up. Now, if you're able to get to the ground, we'll go into the crab position. We're going to hold that for 20 to 30 seconds. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and bring the hips up. Ready, set, and go and hold. Just trying to hold those hips up. Try, and if you need to bring those hips back down and come back up, that's totally fine. Or just push down into the chair. We got 15 more seconds. Hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, and slowly bring it down. Good job. Forearm plank. Okay. Forearm plank is next. Okay. If you are seated for this one, you're going to bring your palms forward. You're going to press up against someone's hands or that barrier that you're using before, and you're going to contract your core. Okay. You're going to squeeze all your whole body and you're going to press into the wall. 
uh, at that time, or if you're able to get to the hands and knees and onto your stomach, you're going to press those palms into the ground just like this. Okay. If you're able just to lay on the ground like this, you can also do that. Option one, option two, option three, forearms and knees. And then option four, you're going to bring those knees off the ground and hold for 20 uh, for 25 seconds here. Ready? If you're seated, just press into the barrier. If you're in the forearm plank, we're going to hold here. Try to get those knees off the ground. We're going to see if we can hold it for about 15 more seconds. Isometric hold, 10 more seconds. Breathe. Three, two, one, and down. All right, good job. So that was more core. Go ahead and get some water. Okay, and we're going to have a couple more exercises, but let's go ahead and take a break. So we're performing some isometric, move, isometric exercises where we're holding positions in uh, some end range and using strength. All right, the next one will be hip flexion. If you're seated, you're going to pull one knee up and hold it off the ground as high as you can, just like this. If you're standing, you can hold it up just like this, or you can do this on the ground, okay? I'm going to do this on the ground, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this knee up toward my chest and hold it as high as I can. And then I'm gonna press my hands into the top of the knee and press the knee into the hands. I'm gonna hold that contraction for 20 seconds and then switch sides. All right, we're gonna start in five seconds. So we're gonna push that knee into the hands, hands into the knee for 20 seconds. Hold here, push, push, push. Keep pushing all the way up. 10 more seconds. Keep going. Three, two, one, and switch. Opposite knee all the way up. Push the hands into the knee, knee into the hands. Hold here. Or just try to lift the leg off the ground and hold as high as you can. You're holding that for about 20 seconds. Push into the knee, knee into the hands. Keep going. And relax. Good job. That was hip flexion. From here, whether we're seated or standing, we're going to rotate and bring those arms across the body just like this and reach. We're going to reach across the body. Just like this. If you're standing, same thing. If you want to make it harder, you can go into a split stance position. So either or. Hold and breathe here. We're going to hold for 20 seconds. You reach all the way across the body. Pretend you're holding on to a basketball and holding, reaching, keep reaching, and go ahead and switch side. Rotate toward the other way. Pretend you're holding on to that ball. Squeeze, hold. Keep rotating. Really reach. Stand up nice and tall. Straighten those arms. Hold here. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Woo, that was tough. All right, now we're going to get into eccentrics. So eccentrics are movements on the way down, okay? We have your push-up, which you can do concentrically, eccentrically, or isometrically. And I know they're big words, but just think iso is the hold, eccentric is the way down, and then pushing up 
is a concentric phase. We're going to work on the eccentric phase. So we're going to slowly lower down all the way down just like that. And we're going to try to control ourselves on the way down. And then we're going to come back up. We're going to work on our push. If you're seated, what you can do or standing is push into the wall nice and slow and then push away. Go nice and slow into the wall just like that. If you have a barrier, you could do one arm at a time if you wanted to, just like this, or two arms at a time. Okay? Try to control it on the way down. Or if somebody's pushing into your hands, I want them to extend their arms. We have one person extend their arms, and then one person's going to push into their hands. And as they push into their hands, they're going to slowly come back and fight it on the way back. Okay? So let's go ahead and try that with our push. Okay, so it's an eccentric push. Hands and knees, we'll start. And what we're going to do is we're going to slowly come down for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax down. Push all the way up, reset. You do the same thing for 10 seconds. Here we go. Down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Relax down, push up, five second relax. One more time, here we go. Down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and all the way down so there's your eccentric push-up now we're going to perform eccentric squat now if you're seated what you can do is push into the ground as hard as you can or you can flex your knee as hard as you can or you can flex your hips as hard as you can okay so we're just going to hold any isometric position that works for you if you're seated pushing down into the ground option one for option two, option one, performing any isometric movement with your legs. Two, pushing into the earth. Three, we're going to hold on to somebody and we're going to try to control ourselves on the way down and then come back up. We're going to try to control ourselves on the way down. So if you need to hold on to something to help you control yourself on the way down, that will be your first option if you're standing. If you don't need that option, what we'll do is bring our hands out front and we're going to slowly come down for 10 seconds. So it's going to be the same thing. Down all the way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And stand all the way up. Let's try that again. Go all the way down. 10 seconds, here we go, and down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, and up, okay, let's try it a couple more times, pushing down into the ground as hard as you can, or lowering down, 10, 6, 5, Four, down in three, two, and all the way up. Good job. Okay, let's try it one more time. Here we go. Down for 10 seconds and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and all the way up. There you go. Next one is going to be a sit-up, eccentric sit-up. So what does that look like? If you're seated, what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way up nice and slow, then all the way forward nice and slow. If you are able to go on your back and you're able to bring your arms over your head, we're going to... First, get into this position. You can watch me first. 
what we'll do is we'll sit up and as we come down we're going to try to go down as slow as we can for that 10 seconds and then finally come all the way down all right so let's go ahead and sit all the way up or lean all the way forward and then we're going to move back for 10 seconds ready here we go and go nice and slow eight seven six five four three two and all the way down sit all the way up let's try it again nice and slow on the way down here we go and go ten nine eight seven six five four three two and all the way down sit all the way up let's try it two more times here we go and down 10 seconds nine eight seven six five four three two all the way down arms overhead reach forward and up last one here we go reaching forward and then reaching all the way up if you're seated all the way down eight seconds six five four three two and all the way down go ahead and sit all the way up good job all right so we just went through our pirate ship game and our warm-up quick cars and our workout so what we're going to do now is go through some cool down exercises or mobility training still training purposeful training remember we don't want to overdo it but we also want to make sure that we're working on our flexibility and mobility as well as our strength and our dynamic warm-up and that cars uh, intro so let's go ahead and work on some mobility so if you're seated for the 90 90 we've talked about axial rotations in past classes I'll have you actually rotate like this or if you can go like this you can cross the leg if you're seated as well or you can try to get into a seated 90-90 position just like this okay so different ways you can get into that if you're in a seated posture if you're able to get down to the mat you're gonna bend the knees at 90 degrees you're gonna face in that same direction we're gonna breathe here and hold inhale and exhale big inhale big exhale and then from here go ahead and rotate just the upper body toward the other side inhale and exhale inhale exhale inhale and exhale all right, now we're going to see if we can get 90-90 on the other side. So let's go ahead and switch. So we're facing the other direction in 90-90. Holding here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. And then from here, we're going to rotate the upper body toward the other side. Breathe. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. From here, if you're seated, we're just going to bring those knees out just like this. Okay, if you are on the mat... We're going to bring the bottoms of our feet together and hold here. Sitting up nice and tall. If you can, go ahead and try to push those knees to the ground. Breathe here and hold. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale.
And I'm going to challenge you to bring your hands together, whether you're seated or on the mat, and then bring one foot off the ground. And then straighten the leg all the way out, and then relax. Go ahead and pull that opposite foot in. Push that knee down. You're going to lean into this front leg here. Bend the knee just slightly. Breathe and hold. Or just straighten one leg out in front of you while you're seated. Other options, you can reach across the body like this. And from here, let's go ahead and see if we can switch sides by actively bringing that leg back to butterfly and then actively bring in the other leg out. And we've switched sides here, opposite legs forward, bend the knee as much as you need. Make sure there's no pain behind the kneecap. Inhale and exhale. Good. From here, we'll go ahead and straighten those legs out, whether you're seated or whether you're on the mat. What we're going to do is just tilt those legs in and out. Try to keep those legs together as you actually rotate them in and out. Keep breathing. Inhale and exhale. And then from here, go ahead and small circles with the ankles. If you're barefoot, I want you to move those toes. If you're barefoot, I want you to bring your big toe up, big toe down, small toes up, big toe up, small toes down, and move that ankle in a circle both at the same time. Try to create circles with the ankle. Good job. Point those toes. Push forward. Wherever you are, sit up nice and tall. You can cross your legs. You can go in the kneeling position or you can go in the cross leg position. From here, what we're going to do is focus on 360 in box breathing before we head out. I'm going to go ahead and take an inhale. Relax your shoulders. Relax your neck. Feel 360. And exhale it out. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. From here, what we're going to do is inhale for three, and then we're going to try to exhale for six. Ready? Here we go. Inhale for one, two, three. Exhale for one, two, three three, four, five, and six. Inhale for one, two, three. Exhale for one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, go back to your normal breathing. Inhale and exhale. Exhale it out. From here, let's go to our box breathing. Okay, inhale, hold, exhale, hold. You're gonna inhale, Hold, exhale, hold, inhale, hold, exhale, hold, inhale, hold, exhale, Hold, inhale, hold, exhale, hold, 
Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold. Big inhale. And exhale it out. All right, good job, everyone. Thank you for participating. Comment and let me know what you thought. Thank you for participating in our Fitness Friday class. Uh, to review, we did some quick cars, upper and lower body. We played a game called the Pirate Ship. We also did some isometric and eccentric exercises along with a nice mobility and breathing cool down. All right, so your heart rate should be back to a above resting average of no more than 20 to 30 beats over your normal resting average. And that will do it for today. All right, everyone. See you later.